when we had first found out uh, that he was in the hospital, uh, my mom had said, you know, he has an infection in his foot, um, but we're not sure what we're going to do. Um, so, of course, immediately, because they're not forthcoming with pertinent information sometimes, uh, you have to pry a little bit with them. And uh, so I ended up going down there to here, and I got there right at the right time when the doctor was there and said the infection was pretty bad. And, uh, of course, my first reaction was he's going to lose, you know, a foot. And when I immediately went into panic mode, like, how am I going to take care of my dad's daily chores? Uh, what would I have to do if he loses a foot to make his house accommodating because I can build something for him? Uh, so it was a lot of crazy emotions swirling to, you know, really figure out what exactly I needed to do to help him. So my wife had contacted Linda Thompson uh, to let her know uh, what exactly was happening. And she contacted the church uh, and asked for the elders to start a prayer chain, and they did. Um, she had posted something uh, on the prayer wall, uh, which I thought was wonderful. And that, that touched me, uh, that, that she would do such you know, a wonderful thing uh, to help out a situation with my dad. And uh, it, it just it was very touching for all of us. Through, through, uh, through this whole ordeal, uh, worst case scenario, he was going to lose a foot. Uh, looked like more definitely it was going to be his big toe. Uh, but the, I believe in my heart that the prayer chain somehow got the surgeon in contact with this disease specialist uh, to look at my dad moments before his surgery. Uh, for basically a second opinion on it. And um, you know, he said, let's not do the amputation, let's remove as much of the infection we can and let's see if you know, his body can heal it. Um, they kept looking at it, the swelling's gone, the redness is gone, and they keep looking at his foot every day saying, I can't believe this. We did get good news, they are not gonna amputate now, uh, which is awesome, and uh, he's on, on the mend. Praise God. You know, it just it, it brings uh, tears to me, uh, tears of joy more than anything.